Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to take Jewel Beetle Gems over into Matrix, in case you want to do something over there and you already have Matrix. And so, here we go. This ring was built entirely in Jewel Beetle, but one way that you can tell that these gems are um, Jewel Beetle Gems is that they don't have any ISO curves on the different faces. We're in uh, just shade mode, but uh, we don't have any ISO curves on there. So we've got uh, an emerald, couple of emerald cuts, an oval, cushion, some rounds. So um, no need to select anything, but if we go to gems and then go to J to M, so J M, and we click that, you'll notice that they all change size, and that's because the blocks, the block instance uh, in Jewel Beetle, are a different size than they are in Matrix. So this is typical. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, save small as, and I need to change this to a Rhino 5 file, because obviously Matrix stopped at Rhino 5. And I have a file here, test convert to um, J to M, so I'm just going to save over that and say, yes, I want to replace that. And then you come over into Matrix and open that file. So we'll go to the desktop and um, test convert J to M and say open. And then we uh, simply convert these by going to the gem section, second set of rows, and we click on the gem update, which is a gem with a band-aid on it. You click that. And um, it fixes all those, and these are now, uh, you'll see all the ISO curves. And we can, of course, hit F6 and say, okay, give me a gem cutter. And there's a gem cutter, so they work as matrix gems. And uh, that's it.